gentlemen, please welcome Nashville singer-songwriter Logan Brill. How y'all doing tonight? Well, I'm the lucky one that gets to kick off tonight's show. Um, and this first song is for Mr. Paul Williams, and I'm honored to sing it tonight. Um, and as an ASCAP writer, I appreciate all that you do. So um, this one's for you, Paul. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to so much. Uh, well, my name is Logan Brill, and I just want to say uh, a big thank you to the NMPA for having me here tonight. Um, I'm honored to be here. Um, and I also want to say a big thank you to them for um, all their hard work in kind of securing a better future for uh, songwriters like myself and up-and-comers like myself. So thank you so much for having me here tonight. I really appreciate it. I want to sing a brand new song uh, that I just wrote a couple of months ago uh, in Nashville, and uh, 
I, I, I guess I kind of want to start out with a story about it, uh, if that's all right with y'all. Um, I'm about the biggest Bonnie Raitt fan that you'll ever meet. I don't know if we have any other Bonnie Raitt fans out there. For being as big of a Bonnie fan as I am, I actually just saw her for the first time a couple of months ago. Um, I saw that she was going to be at my hometown theater in Knoxville, Tennessee. And so I bought tickets and drove home for the show. And uh, it was just as amazing as I expected it to be uh, and more. Uh, she played about the first half of the show with her slide guitar, rocking her bell bottoms better than I ever have in my life. I think she's 70 years old now, which is pretty, pretty nuts. Um, and so about halfway through the show, she pulled a stool out in the middle of the stage and the band left and she sang sort of the one song that everybody had been waiting on, which is, of course, I Can't Make You Love Me. And there wasn't a dry eye in the audience, myself included. And uh, after she got done playing her song, she stepped up to the microphone and she said, you know, if we didn't break each other's hearts in this world, nobody would be around to write these songs and nobody would give a damn to listen to them anyway. And I thought that was a pretty amazing thought. All the pieces of art and the things that we would miss out on if there wasn't heartbreak in this world. Um, and so I went back to Nashville the next day and I wrote this song and I want to play it for you now. This one's called Break Each Other's Hearts. each other's hearts Those steel guitars wouldn't cry no more No such thing as a minor chord Cause what the hell would you need them for If we didn't break each other's hearts So I Let it burn. Thank you so much. <laughs> 